Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum friends. Today I am going to introduce you to a new mobile application that can be used as an alternative to Zipgrade. And this application is used for marking your MCQs and true false answer sheets of the students. So let's begin. First of all, you will have to go to Play Store and install this application from there. So let's go to the Play Store. The name of the application is EvalB. As you can see, I have already installed this application. Therefore, you do not see the install button here. Instead, you are seeing open button. If you have not installed it, you will have to install that application first. After installation, open the application. So once you open it, it will ask you for creating an account in EvalB. You can use your existing Google account to sign in to this uh, application. So click on sign in with Google account. Then after that, select your Google account. After selecting the Google account, then enter your username, your organization, city and your country. Select your country from here. and then click save. So your account is now created in ULB. The next step is to create the answer sheet as well as uh, the key. Uh, they call the creating the answer sheet as create an exam. So for creating uh, exam or creating answer sheet, you will have to click on the plus symbol uh, shown in the orange color on the right bottom of the screen. So click that button. After clicking the plus button, this screen will appear. This screen is asking us four questions. Question number one is roll number digits. How many digits are there in the roll number of uh, students of the class? The default uh, option here is five, but if your student's roll number is in two digits, then you can select and reduce this number to, to two uh, by clicking on the minus symbol. If you want to increase it, then you will have to click on the plus symbol on the right side. Same is the case with exam sets. You can increase it or decrease it with, by clicking the plus symbol or the minus symbol respectively. But what does exam sets mean? You might have seen in ETS tests that they give uh, students different uh, sets of papers. For example, paper A, paper B, paper C. For each of those papers, uh, the answer key is different. So from here, if this is one, it means that you have only one paper that is A. And if you want to create multiple sets of the same paper with different keys, uh, then you will have to increase it to two, to three, or, or more number. The third option is subjects. Here it means that if you want to create a paper with only a single subject that is biochemistry, etc. But if you want to include two different subjects, for example, biochemistry and as well as, for example, anatomy in the same paper, then you will have to increase this number to two because you are including two different subjects in the same paper. You can see, you can increase this number, these numbers by clicking on plus symbol and decrease these numbers by clicking on minus symbols. Also, you can increase the exam sets or decrease it. Same is the case with subjects. Okay, now click on subjects and select number of sections in the paper. So what are number of sections? Section means that you want to include, for example, two sections in the same paper. In the first section, you want to give uh, MCQs and in the second sections, you want to include true false questions. So that's why I have selected two here. So our paper will include two different kinds of sections. The first section will include the MCQs and the second section will include the true-false section. Then after selecting these things, uh, click on the next button, which is shown in the blue color on the, on the right bottom of the screen. So click next. Okay, as you can see, I have included two sections in my uh, answer sheet. In section one, you can see the first option is number of questions. So how many questions you want to include in section one? And then question types. For example, your question is five options, MCQs, four options, or it is true, false, etc. 
so select the number of questions I have selected 10 and then select question types for example here I selected four options because our paper will include four options for each of those 10 questions and it will be a MCQ uh, section the next option is marks for correct I have selected one mark for each correct uh, answer and zero marks for each incorrect option you can include negative marking in it as well if you want to allow partial marking then you will have to check that uh, box in front of the allow partial marks option similarly select options for the ne next section so I selected five questions in the in the section two and question types are true false then next okay this is your answer sheet and answer sheet is uh, ready but there are few other things if you want to edit in your answer sheet you can edit them for example the layout at this time is continuous you can break up this layout of the answer sheet by changing the layout option so click subject in column now you can see your uh, subject have moved to the next column and your roll number section is in column number one I want to leave the other options as default okay then you clicked on save button uh, shown in the orange color on the right bottom of the screen after clicking the save button this small box will appear just type the uh, class name exam name and then choose the date of the exam and then click save so our class name is mbg or exam name is for example mphil uh, or exam date is for example uh, November 6 then click on save button your answer sheet is ready now now the next step is to prepare the key for the exam for creating the key click on the key button shown in the orange color in front of the MPhil exam so after clicking that orange color key then you will have to uh, prepare the key for this exam so click that key and now select all the correct options in your of your paper so these are the correct options true false true and false and now click on save button save your key is now generated and saved the next step is to print the answer sheet for printing the answer sheet follow these steps click on mfill click on those three dots this uh, drop down menu will appear you will have to click on view sheet you can see the option view sheet so just click on that option your exam answer sheet will appear here on the bottom of the screen you can see two options one is the download image another is create PDF I am going to download the image of this answer sheet to my mobile so click uh, download image after downloading the image it will show you the file path where it has uh, saved the answer sheet on your mobile so the path is you will be inside your mobile after closing this box you will have to connect your mobile to your laptop and copy the answer sheet to uh, into your laptop and then print it using your printer or you can email this sheet from your mobile to your uh, email and then print that uh, answer sheet using the you using your laptop and printer okay the last step is to scan the attempted answer sheets and mark them using your mobile camera on your screen you can see two round orange buttons on the right bottom of the screen so you will have to click the lower circular orange button on the screen to mark your papers so click that button and put the attempted answer sheets uh, in front of the camera of mobile now focus your camera on those square black dots and the mobile will automatically uh, scan the paper and take a picture and mark it automatically for example here you can see this student has got three marks now this one so this student has got four marks I would recommend this application ULB for all the teachers of uh, schools 
universities and colleges because this is a very useful application and the good thing in this application is that you can mark unlimited answer sheets with this application while with zipgrid you can only mark 100 answer sheets per month and uh, there is no such restrictions in this ELB application so thank you bye